30,000 people have been evacuated, but they can't take any chances here knowing what happened you know, just a couple of months ago. No, I, I agree. This is uh, potentially a life-threatening scenario that's setting up in California. So that is the best to see that people are taking it seriously because, Mike, we're looking at an axis of very heavy rainfall here to come between Santa Maria and Santa Barbara. And even if the heaviest rainfall doesn't overlie the burn scar areas, this rain is still enough uh, right. to cause issues. And that's the problem because it's been a couple of days and it's going to keep going here, all this moisture streaming on until tomorrow. So this is the reason why we've got that atmospheric river bringing very high values of moisture. These are near record for March. And so it doesn't have to necessarily be just in Santa Barbara County. I mean, we had dozens of fires in Southern California. We know the heaviest of rain will likely be just north of LA. So that's the area we're really focused on. Yes. Yeah, so, so right in here, the area where we saw the Thomas, uh, the burn scar there, the Thomas fire, we could be seeing as much as three to five inches come over the north side of that burn scar in there because you've got the debris and the dry ground that could create some issues. Better to leave than to stay and take your chances, I feel like. All right, thank you very much, uh, Erica. And we still come back here on Weather Underground. Toby, our top story.